Good morning, all. I am on the Ozark Highland Trail in Arkansas. And it's a 205 mile trail. And initially I was gonna do it all in one fell swoop, but I'm trying to decide if I can bring my dog or not. So I decided to come down today and day hike about 17 and a half miles to see how he does. This is the first section of the trail. And Mary, my shuttle driver, on the way here pointed out what she called snow flowers. I think that's what she called them, snow flowers. And it's when the plant will release liquid or fluid when it's really cold and windy. And it makes these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ice structures on the plant that kind of looks like a flower. And so I'll take some pictures of those today and share them. And we'll see how my dog does. His name is Cash. He's named after Johnny Cash because my dog is all black. So he's my little man in black. And it is a beautiful day. It's 28 degrees, but it feels great. It's sunny. It feels so good to be outside and moving in the wilderness. So here goes. Also, I want to give a big shout out to my mom, who I love so, so much. She is so awesome and has been supportive of me my entire life. No one could ask for a better mom. And today is her birthday. So happy birthday, mom. Love you so much. So in my research for this trail, I kept coming across the name Tim, Tim Ernst, and he's written some travel guides for this trail, some travel books. So I'm thinking hiker, that that's kind of what he was famous for. And then I noticed that he was doing a program at the Bentonville Library the other night. So I thought, oh, I'll go and maybe I can meet some other hikers. When I got there, what I found out is He's a pretty famous photographer, and that's what he's known for, is for his uh, nature photography, uh, specifically in Arkansas. He's had several of his pictures in National Geographic, so I got to hear him speak and see the pictures for his latest picture coffee table book. Really cool guy, and it was a fun night, and already just hiking a few miles here, I can see why he loves Arkansas. It really is beautiful, even this time of year with all the leaves on the ground. So, pretty cool guy.
taking a little lunch break. Got over nine miles in, so making really good time. The terrain's pretty darn easy. I had something weird happened earlier. I heard a branch breaking out of a tree and it sounded like it was like to my right, but it came down. It wasn't like, it was only like this big, but it came straight down and it just landed like right on this bone right here. And it, when it hit, it was like when you hit your elbow, like your funny bone, when it's not funny, it just like vibrates and hurts. And it was just the weirdest sensation, but I survived and it's it's okay. I'll probably have a little bruise there is all. But always something happening on the trail, that's for sure. So I tried giving Cash some food. And he just used his nose and tumped it over and scratched it away. Does not want his food, but he doesn't mind eating some of this Slim Jim, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know that that's the best for him, but he's got to eat something today. So I'm getting the wet food. Eat it up. One more. What about it? how picky he's gonna be on the trail? He's doing great. Hi. Well, it was a great hike. It was like, I think close to 18 miles. It was, I know like 17 and a half, but I had to go a little ways on a spur trail to get down to the trail. And um, my dog Cash, he was getting really tired the last two miles. And then the last mile, because it was so close to the visitor center, a lot of people had their dogs. There weren't dogs out, but dogs had marked. So he was like sniffing every leaf on the way, but we finally made it here. It was funny, I ran into a couple of um, hikers, a couple sets of hikers, and one group, one set was from Texas and the other was from Oklahoma, and I asked them, like, why did you come here to hike? They're like, oh, because we had to come where there were mountains, and I just had to kind of grin and, and say to myself, bless their hearts. <laughs> but they're out here, and they're enjoying the outdoors. It really is beautiful here. It's a beautiful place, and it was a great day, so I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the trail